Multiple businesses in downtown Baltimore are now dealing with the aftermath of a massive fire. WMER 2 News' Janae Wright joins us now with the impact. Janae, this was a fire that spread pretty quickly up to five alarms. Absolutely, Kelly. This fire not only damaged the building that housed multiple businesses, it also made fire officials temporarily suspend the light rail in the central business district and caused a few road closures. Sunday morning, a fire started inside one of the businesses in a building on Lombard and Utah Street in downtown Baltimore. The Baltimore City Fire Department was able to get to the scene in minutes since the fire was in a building right next to the fire station. But that didn't stop the fire from spreading quickly. Before 930, we had uh, dispatched one unit to see that there was smoke showing. Quickly, that went to a second alarm at 933, uh, which then went to a third alarm at 940 and which then escalated to about a fifth alarm at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Within an hour, a total of 200 firefighters were on the scene working to get the fire under control, spraying water from above the building through the roof. Heavy smoke filled the area as people on top of nearby buildings watched. Eventually, the firefighters were able to get the fire under control. That's when the department was able to see the damage to the businesses. We do know that it was five businesses and one residential uh, unit was has been in the fire. Five businesses, including the Goddess Gentlemen's Club, Geno Ethiopian Cuisine, and Lombard Liquors were all damaged by the massive fire, along with efforts from the firefighters to put out the flames. Fire officials have not identified the source of the fire, but the Geno Ethiopian restaurant did have the most damage. That's under, under investigation right now. We know that it started in the back of the building, so we, we tried to suppress it from, this, from the top, vertical suppression. John Marsh also says he was glad no one was injured in the fire. And once the investigation is complete, we will learn more about how this fire started and how much the estimated cost for the damage to the businesses and the one apartment are in the building. Kelly.